Art so I've evolved. Today we are on the island server, our kind of vanilla island server. Uh, this is our PVE map, and um, we're in my tech base. Now, you might not care. You might care, though, because the title of the video says How to Build a Mostly Tech Base Without Using Tech or Without Using Element. Well, I'm going to teach you something really cool that I learned. Now, S plus is definitely becoming part of the game, uh, so that that right there in itself is uh, going to be something you're going to want to pay attention to. Y if you see right now, I'm running right by these very beautiful, very beautiful railings, and you also see I have tech walls, and I've got some metal walls. Well, let me show you something. this one right here it's a tech wall but it's half the size right well oh look I've made a tech wall and you know what it costed me zero element now don't get me wrong it was I believe it's a little more expensive we're gonna look at the engram cost and now you you need the S plus one to do this you're not gonna be able to do this with regular ones at least until they get the S plus uh, actually implemented into the actual game where this setting is an option where you can switch these two walls but you can see right here a tech actually it's cheaper you pay three cementing paste and 12 metal ingots for a tech railing versus your tech wall which is what type of wall oh no it's going to be on top Alright, well, where's the tech wall? Hmm. Oh, there we go. It's down at the bottom. So, look at the material cost for this. 20 polymer, 35 metal, 1 element, and 15 crystal. Why would you want to build that? Now, if you're playing with regular stuff, I understand you definitely would want to go ahead and build your walls. But when S Plus gets implemented, especially if they maintain this switching option right here you are going to be able to take your tech walls and build tech walls half the size but just stack them and not only that but there's a benefit to this if they say let's just let's just say I'm gonna I'm gonna stack a few here real quick not there I don't want that one stacked well eh, I don't I don't want to risk it I'm not gonna tear down half my base by accident Okay, so that that should work. And we're gonna switch this to a half wall, switch to a half wall, switch to a half wall, and you're also to a half wall. Okay, so we got that right. Now let's go run down here. Okay, we don't need much of these anyway. Alright, we're going to climb back up now. Now, you can see I definitely don't have a lot. I don't have any element laying around. I've used all my element up, so I'm using metal. You can see that. I'm using a lot of metal in places. Uh, but, you don't even have to do this depending on how you built your base. Now, look at this, right? I've got all that built. Those two are connected. They're holding all this up. Look what happens when they damage one wall. Okay, will my demo gun come out? That stance and that stance. And look what you got. Not only do you have this, you have a window here. You can make your own window. I didn't even think about that until just now. I mean, that's a window. We can go ahead and do this. Switch to half wall. Switch to half wall. Switch to half wall. And look at this, you've got this nice little window here. Now, unfortunately, you don't have any glass to protect it, but this is like a little shooting area. I mean, if somebody were to run by, you could just come out here and boom, 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 and shoot. No one can jump through, it's too small. They can't crouch, jump through. I mean, you can't even jump where you crouch, so you, you can't get through. And I mean, that's just something cool to add on to it. But these right here, they don't require almost anything. Now... 
if you if you want to get real technical here, we're gonna go grab a grab a weapon here real quick. Okay. Now if you look, well that's a solid wall in itself, there ain't it. I wonder what a regular one does. We're gonna convert one of our other ones back. That was an inaccurate shot. Oh, and now you see, I went through there. I hit that wall. So you can definitely shoot through the little gap if you do it this way. But what happens when we take convert that to vanilla? So now it's a regular tech rail line again. S plus is so nice. If you don't have it already, get it. If you're on an official server, make the official server get it. I know you can't do that, but still, it, it's still just that cool. So, here's a regular wall, right? Or a re regular, regular one. Still can't shoot through. So look at that. You don't even have to have this. And you can build this. Now, with this, you, I mean, people will be able to see out, and you'll be able to see out, and they'll be able to see in. But they've got to go through a railing, which has 10,000 health. Your regular wall has 10,000 health. Let me go to a wall just to point this out. 10k health. And the difference is, those are individual pieces that have to be destroyed individually versus this, where you break this, and you break the volume of two. Volume of two right there. You can have two for the spot of one. And this is cheaper. You can build this out of metal. The only thing you have got to do is fight the boss and learn the wall. Once you've learned the wall, you don't even need element to make this stuff anymore. This is the cheap way to go. The cheap man's run. And you know what? It might very well I mean the difference between your base getting rated and not rated. Why waste material? I mean, that's... I mean, I, I just gotta look at it again here. What other cost? That's even cheaper than building a regular metal wall. So why would you even build a regular metal wall? So that's all pretty cool, right? That gets you some walls. Now, we got another one. And we're looking at it right here. And you can do this with any of them. This guy right here costs you element. This guy does not. He is another cheap one. We're going to go to slope ceilings here. And when you go to a slope ceiling, and the S plus ones have the same cost, or they at least did. Let me... Let me just make sure I get the right one so we can all see this before I, I say something, then it'd be wrong. Mm -hmm. Slope ceilings. Roof. S plus. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we don't want S plus. We just want. We'll scroll down here. Okay, look at that. 35 ingots and 10 cementing paste. All right, and where's the railing? We're just gonna go tech. Make sure, I just wanna make sure all the costs are the same. Costs are the same there, and cost are the same on the seal, slope ceiling, there it is. Now you can take these right here, and you can see these are regular ones. I have done this with regular ceilings. And you can place them as your ceiling. Now, do you need some support? Yes. But that means you only had to put a few metal ones, or because you did fight the boss. You did fight the boss. You only had to place... Oh, you can still place a few tech ones. Now, these are going to cost you element. You're going to need a few of these for element. These are going to go ahead and be your ceiling. Now, foundations are going to be your biggest cost, and there's unfortunately no way to compensate, unless, of course... And this is the only route I can suggest. Build an outer ring of tech to have the strongest outer wall to hold everything up. And then just go metal on the inside. That's my suggestion with that. But I was just kind of walking around and realized, hey, look, I can build walls. And I can build a sloped ceiling that protects my base. I mean, you could do... <coughs> I mean, I don't even know. Do the, do the triangular ones cost anything? Oh, here is slope tech left. These don't even cost anything. So you can cover all your ceilings. You don't have to have one actual ceiling. You can go ahead 
and do sloped, or you can do these half walls, build them up, then you take sloped ceilings and cross them down until they meet with more railings that have been done as walls. Now, the only thing you're not going to have is a door. Now, on that note, I think you're kind of stuck with, I don't think there's anything you can substitute for a door. So you will have to have a tech door. But tech door, I mean, that's just, I mean, this S, where is it? I think every time you build a tech door, you get four. So you even you even achieve four doors. But uh, where is the door frame? Okay, here we go. Tech door frame, one element. So you're going to spend some element here. And you're going to spend some element right here on this door. But both of these, right here, how many of these are you going to build? Not very many. You're not going to need very much element. You can build an entire tech base after one boss fight if you build it right. You just need to make sure you pick the right one that lets you learn these things. And then you can have a tech base. So, just to point this out, I really didn't want to do this. But... Oh, this is not my exit. I have a few foundations laying around. They're not tech, but they'll work. And we're going to take just that. Uh, is there any more railings? And I'm even getting... Well, these are regular. So, these are all vanilla tech railings. Now, we're going to use regular foundations. Uh, I wish there was a way to pull another. But you know what? We, we, we can do with... Got one. Lazy man's way to do things. <laughs> Alright, so we go through here. Now let's set ourselves up a little shack. Alright, and then the S plus one because it's cooler. Alright, so we got a little shack. I think these might be some S plus ones. Yeah, these are some S plus railings, but they'll be all right because they they function on the same principle. And if you're actually worried about that, here we'll even top it off right here with regular railings. Okay, so regular railings on top. Let's put ourselves some slope ceilings down. I actually meant to grab two more. Now it looks like. Okay, they want to attach sideways. I forgot. That's how they attach. They attach sideways. But that's okay. That's okay. We can work with this. wonder which one it's attaching to. Uh, I bet we could go one higher with it. So what happens if I take this and get rid of it? Okay, are you not attaching? Do you not attach to regulars? Oh my god, maybe I'm proving myself wrong here. Alright, let's 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 find out. And let's put up the demo gun. No, put up the demo gun. Alright, no excuses. Plenty of height. Okay, it does not look like... like okay, so S plus is the one that will let me snap to there. But... Okay. Hmm. So, you might have a little problems with this. Uh, that's a predicament right there. I'll let you know when I figure this out. Alright, guys. I think I figured this out. I did this with S Plus a minute ago. We're going to try it now without S Plus. Uh, I accidentally... This was the only piece that was S Plus right here. This one I got in my hand. And uh, it would not snap here either. Just like this one, they won't snap. So what I did was... I'm going to go to four. Do this. Do this. Oh, what, where'd you go? Oh, there you went. Right behind it. All right. We're going to grab that. We're going to... All right. So we got that four high, right? 
Now we're going to slap a ceiling on there, and we're going to use a regular ceiling just to make the point that we are using all vanilla stuff, that you can do this with vanilla. Now, we can see this is hanging. We don't need to do that just yet, although you could try and do that. Now, we are going to hang this guy like that, and hang that guy like that, and we're going to put this guy hanging right off there like that. Okay, so everything so far, can't show you, but if you look... Well, I'll tell you what, we'll pull it out real quick. Doesn't hurt. Slope tech right wall. Just to let you know, this is none of this is S+. Plus. These are the same structures I've used before. And even that's just tech railings. Pillars. Slope tech roofs. And that was a standard one because that was sitting next to this, which I have three S plus ones. Okay, so, we're at this point. Well, obviously, you don't want this big metal thing hanging over you. Maybe you don't even want this pillar. So, what we're going to do is we're going to knock that out. We're going to take that, 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 and that, and it stands on its own. It's standing on its own right now. We can go grab a few more right from here. Should be able to attach to it. And, of course, Ark doesn't like to snap from this section, so I'd have to have another one, like, right here. Uh, so I'd have to keep on with the slopes and stuff. And it would definitely take a little bit of material to do this. But you can build so much out of tech. I mean, you could build a... I mean, that's your roof. These are your walls. You only need element for the floor, the doors. And that's it. You don't need element for anything else. Everything else could be built with wood. Wood scaffolding to get it into place, and then you should be good. Uh, but that's essentially it. I know I didn't really do a full-on, like, building like I was actually planning. But it just, the way it was working out, and I don't want to tear up too much of my base. I'm already putting holes in my base for the tech element, for the tech stuff, so. Uh, I definitely don't want to do any more. I've already lost two ceilings. I went to respawn them in. And, uh, so yeah, I just really didn't want to break my base into a million pieces by taking out the wrong piece or something like that. So, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys learned something over this. Um, yeah, this is how you build a tech base with just slope ceilings and w with minimal element. That's the best way I put it. Building the tech base with minimal element. So, just take care. And I'll catch you next time.